Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we will be solving the third part of the problem buy and sell stock. We have already covered the part 1 and part 2 and I think by the time you will be watching this video, part 4 will also be covered. Now we are going to look at part 3. Let us read the problem statement. So we have an array and the elements in the array are the prices of a certain stock on the particular day. Now we have to design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. And you may complete at most two transactions. So in the part one it was given that we have to complete one transaction, at most one transaction. In the part two we had no restrictions over the number of transactions and in this part we are given that we have to complete at most two transactions. Now you may not engage in multiple transactions at the same time that is uh, you cannot simply buy two stocks and then sell them later. You will have to complete one transaction then you can proceed with the second transaction. And one transaction is simply buying and selling the stock. Let us see some examples. In the example number two, we can see that we can achieve the maximum profit uh, by using one transaction, purchasing on the day number one and selling on the day number five. It will give us the profit of four. In the example three, we can see that mm, we cannot make a profit here. The reason is it is a decreasing area and any day we are going to purchase, we won't be able to sell it on a higher price. That makes the profit as zero using no transaction. Also, if you have watched the video of best time to buy and sell stock one, we can solve the first transaction on similar line. So now we will have to think what we have to do in the second transaction. So the first transaction can be solved in similar lines. That is, we are keeping a variable that is going to store the minimum price of a certain stock and the second variable profit. We have to minimize the price and we have to maximize the profit. You can go and watch the video. The link will be in the description. Once we are clear with that, we can proceed with this problem. And now we have to think that how are we going to incorporate the second transaction. So let's say we buy a particular stock on a day and then sell it on another day. Now we are coming to another day and we have already made one transaction and this transaction gives us a profit of let's say 100 bucks. Now again for the second transaction we will have to again minimize the price of stock and maximize the profit on the similar lines but this time we have to incorporate the profit that we have already have using the first transaction. So let's say the price of a certain stock on a certain day is 300. It is 300 bucks. For this person who already made a profit of 100 using first transaction, this price will be nothing but 300 minus 100. So for him it will be 200. He will have to pay 200 from his pocket. So the eventual price or the effective price for him will be 200 as he had already made a profit of 100. So this is how we are going to have another two variables. The first one is to minimize the price of the second transaction and the second variable will be to maximize the profit of the second transaction. And the effective price of the second transaction will be the price minus the profit made in the first transaction. So basically we are going to keep four variables. Uh, you must watch the video for uh, the part one to have the better clarity of this. I'm not going to explain everything in this one. So let us simply, I think, we can simply copy the code. This will be the same for the first transaction. So this is minimum price. Let us say minimum price one, it is int max. This is the profit one. The first profit is zero. Then we are going to have another two variables. This is minimum price 2, it is going to be int max and profit 2, it is going to be 0. Now, minimum price is minimum of the current price and the minimum price. This is fine. Profit 1 is maximum of profit 1 and price of i minus minimum price 1. Now for the second profit and for the second price, minimum price 2 min price 2 is minimum of min price 2 and 
the current price that is what it is supposed to be but as we already made a profit so we have to reduce that profit from this because that will be the effective price and that is profit one now maximizing the second profit okay it is going to be maximum of profit two comma price of I minus minimum price 2 and then we have to return the profit 2 let us see if this works profit 2 it is giving us correct answer let us try to submit this now and it got accepted talking about the space complexity is constant because we are only using four variables and of course the time complexity is going to be big of n so this is it for the solution if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon thank you